in this episode... Today we're heading further west to Biarritz, which is a beautiful beach town and surfing destination near the border of Spain. Welcome to our hotel in Biarritz. I just wanted to show you around because this place is so cute. I mean, they had Lay's laying on the bed, haha. <laughs> Lay's laying on the bed, I didn't even notice that. But, we'll put these on. Voila! Voila! <laughs> it reminds me of like a very Australian bathroom, you know? I feel like I would have seen this in like some Australian influencers, new home or something. Palmiers at the Palmito. Lovely. And this is the whole reason I wanted to give you the tour, was this view. Just wait. Ready? Follow me outside. Ta-da! Oh. It's me! I mean, look at that view. Right now, Biarritz is so busy because it is the top beach destination for all French people. So here, you don't really hear many tourists. There are more people here, I swear to you, than in Paris. It's crazy. The streets were insane. We took one whole hour to find a parking spot. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a stress. We drove around and around and around because we had to bring our suitcases and you can't drive down the street. It's just a pedestrian street unless you have special permission. So we found a 30 minute park. We quickly parked. We ran with our suitcases here, dropped them off, ran back and drove around for another like 15 minutes. And we eventually found a parking garage. It was a complete stress, but we're here and we're loving it. Come on. Sounds like a McDonald's ad. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And I know you love these. We you got some knackies. Oh wait, no, that's not right. Snackies. <laughs> Snackies. Is a German sausage. <laughs> right. A under, the, under the brand name. <laughs> I don't knackies. know, it just sounds cute when you see like, oh, a little knacky. You know? Yeah, but not really. I know, Jonathan loves these here. Ow. Uh, I like them too. Mm, I've never seen these. They're pretty good. All right. Nap time? Nap time. I need a nap. I'm exhausted from driving. Sleep. <laughs> I did not expect that. Where'd Jonathan go? Where'd Jonathan go? Oh, there you are. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Living my best cat life. Yes. I love watching the people. People watching is OP. It's a little bit more cloudy than it was yesterday. To not say a disgusting weather. <laughs> a weather that makes you want to sit down, have coffee. <laughs> so it is actually our second day we arrived yesterday, but we decided just to take the day for ourselves and chill since we haven't had a really calming, relaxing day in the last couple of weeks. But Today we have some very exciting stuff. We're gonna grab some coffee, head to the market to get what this area is known for, which is... Jambon. Jambon and saucisson. And uh, jambon. Yes. Sorry, okay, we'll I only have the jambon in my mind. <laughs> we'll get lots of uh, ham and we'll make ourselves a delicious sandwich for lunch. I have a lot of shopping to do. We need to head to the beach. And tonight we are eating at a delicious seafood restaurant down at the port. Shall we go get some coffee? Let's go! Let's go! How do they do the perfect swirl on top, huh? That is very cool. Cheers! You just got the foam. No, no. It's very good. I don't know how they did it. My favorite aisle, if you know me, it's grown locally. <laughs> Very funny. A lot of wings today, I promised you. Oh, here we are. 
This place is stocked. Remember? Your dad had us try this one. Which one? The Yeah. You didn't mind it, did you? It actually didn't taste very strong, but just the thought of it now is like... Is that Merci beaucoup. Merci. Au revoir. Oh, well, that ham was very, very good. Right? Yep. So good. Shall we get some fruits? Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I only found her candy. I found my candy. These tiny These, these look good. cereal. Huh? Right? Can we get two of them? Yeah. Can we get one of those? Yeah, that looks good. You want to go in the fish market after? Here we can just go look. Hold our nose. This one's flounder. Flounder, no? This one is huge. <laughs> the energy here is so like yeah. hectic. Yeah. It's spider crab, right? Yeah. We got so many goodies. I'm like 10 pounds heavier just from carrying it. And I will be after we finish all of this. Oh, guess what I see? Figgy fig fig. <laughs> Where? Right there. Oh yeah, you're right. Figgy fig. Why do you look like you belong here? I do. We had a little bit of a taste of the jambon. Oh yeah, we did. The guy was so nice and the jambon was so good. And I can't wait, I'm getting so hungry. Have you ever seen such a low tide? No, in the many, many years that I've been to Biarritz, I've never seen such a low tide. I've never seen those rocks, never. So, what we have here, we have a big fat, baguette that we got Ooh. and we got a skinny little baguette this is for the foie gras i invite you to put some pot on this and have a bite oh so good oh yeah oh okay thank you why do you like foie gras mm. i don't know i just do i have expensive taste the texture it's just like mm, i don't know i can't explain it you know normally Strawberries have a little bit of a, a firm texture. These are so soft and juicy, right? They're like so, they're like candy. Those are. Uh, Ooh, they're so worth the money. Local. They're Local. Grown. So good. And red currants. Jonathan informed me that you have to eat it. Yes. Yeah, like juices up. Huh. I don't think you could get more French than I'm wearing. No. Don't you think? No. Like yes, you could add the melon. Baguette. You could add a melon and you could add some wine. You have our beautiful jambon. No. <laughs> Beignet Nutella, beignet Nutella, beignet, beignet, beignet Nutella. Not as good as I remember. I remember them being coated in sugar. <laughs> For the memories. There is a hundred bricks in a plane. One brick falls. How many are left? 49? Yeah. How do you fit a fat Jonathan? in a fridge. You put him in. You open the door of the fridge, you put the Jonathan in, and you close the fridge. How do you fit a fat Emily in the fridge? Put her in? No. You open the fridge, you take the fat Jonathan out, you put the fat Emily in, and you close the fridge. The mayor of Biarritz organized a big party on the Grande Plage. One person doesn't come. Who is it? Fat Emily. Because she's in the fridge. Jonathan tries to cross the ocean to come back to New York. Unfortunately, he dies. How? They shoot him at the border. <laughs> you could have said the sharks ate him. Oh. But that's not the case either. Why? Because that brick fell on his head. <laughs> I would ring the neighbor's door <laughs> and they would come out and I'd be like, I have something for you. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a ding, and I would sing this song that I knew the lyrics to. And then I would pull out my hat and ask for money, and they would give me money. 
How'd I, your mom feel about that? She was very embarrassed. <laughs> I would be too. Having my kid go around to ask the neighborhood people for money like the next door neighbors. I guess it's kind of like a lemonade stand a little bit. Except... Yeah, except it requires a voice and, <laughs> and a tuned guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, you do have the performance quality. Thank you. I think that's what they were taping me for. Wow, wow. 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 Wow, Careful with that Osmo, you don't want to drop it now. You got too much content on that. This iconic Biarritz landmark is called Rock of the Virgin Mary. Legend has it the fishermen from the port of Biarritz were caught in a terrible storm while out at sea hunting whales. A divine light guided them back to port, and in 1865, the survivors erected a statue in gratitude of the Virgin Mary looking out to sea. Napoleon III decided to cut a tunnel through the rock and have a bridge built to make it accessible from the seafront. The first wooden bridge did not withstand the crashing waves of the Atlantic Ocean. However, in 1887, Gustavi Fell was instructed to design a metal bridge which still stands today. You're just trying to work off that foie gras. Word. How do you put a fat Jonathan into a fridge? You think it's worth it? Uh, well, I don't know. You promised me uh, some big results here. Tasteful dinner. And we're about to find out. I mean... I don't want to think I'm waiting for nothing, okay? Well, the one good thing is you look absolutely fabulous. Those pants are really fire, aren't they? Rise with the seas. Rise with the seas. Are they made with like um, eco-responsible materials? Yeah, they're reformation. I. <laughs> Hello. My name is... Bob. Bob. Oh, Bob. My name is Claude Jean Paul. Claude. No, Claude Pierre. is my father's name. <laughs> I was trying to think of the most French names I could think of. Pierre. Maurice the second. Maurice the Moule. Uh huh. Hello, my name is Maurice the Moule. In the next episode. <laughs>